Hi and welcome to week five of World History 2. So this is the weekly preview. We will be looking at some of the, this week we'll be looking at some of the key events and figures that shaped the commercial revolution. We will talk about the concept of absolute monarchy and the rise of Spain and France as dominant European powers. So these are our objectives to cover this week. We will begin by explaining the new economic factors and principles that contributed to the success of the commercial revolution. The commercial revolution, which spanned the 16th and 17th centuries, was driven by factors like increased global trade, advancements in maritime technology, and the establishment of joint stock companies. This era saw the rise of capitalism and the growth of a global economy. We'll also be identifying the characteristics of absolute monarchy, including the concept of divine, divine right. So absolute monarchy is a system of government where the monarch holds supreme authority and power, typically unchecked by other institutions. Central to this concept is the idea of divine right, which asserts that monarchs are chosen by God and therefore answerable only to God, not to their subjects. Moving on, we'll explain how Spanish power grew under the reigns of Charles V and Philip II. So Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor, inherited an expansive empire that included Spain, the Netherlands, and parts of Italy and the Americas. His efforts to consolidate power set the stage for further Spanish expansion. Philip II, Charles V's son, continued this expansion and was known for his staunch Catholicism. The Spanish Empire grew to become the largest in the world, with vast territories in the Americas, Europe, and Asia. We will also move on to learn how France built a centralized monarchy after the wars of religion. So France experienced religious conflict during the wars of religion, primarily between uh, Catholics and French Protestants. After these conflicts, the monarchy led by Henry IV and his successors worked to strengthen its central authority. Finally, we will evaluate Louis XIV as an absolute monarch. So Louis XIV, also known as the Sun King, is often considered the epitome of absolute monarchy in France. His reign, which lasted for over seven decades, was characterized by a centralized government the Palace of Versailles, and the belief in his divine right to rule. His policies focused on expanding the French state and maintaining control over the nobility. He is famously remembered for the phrase, I am the state, illustrating his belief in absolute authority. So to conclude, the commercial revolution, the concept of absolute monarchy, and the rise of Spain and France as European powers are pivotal chapters in history that have left enduring legacies. These developments reshape the political, economic, and social landscapes of their time. So I hope this was a good preview of what you can expect uh, this coming week. Uh, this coming week will also, in week five, is when we will be uh, assessing and discussing our projects for the first assessment, for A1 assessment. Of course, by the time we get into the middle of the new unit, uh, unit 12, that's when we will be having our A1 examination and we will begin A2, the A2 assessment, the A2 being, of course, a project-based assessment. Uh, we will discuss that when the time comes. So I hope that um, you're following well throughout the course so far. You can approach me and reach me anytime through email or in class to ask any questions that you might have about the course or specific material. Thank you.